And so guys, welcome back to our Manchester United career mode here in FC. At 25 and uh, first off, don't know if you can tell, but I have, well, I have uh, a slight cold. So uh, yeah, sounding a bit off, but I feel good enough. I feel okay. <laughs> I feel okay. I've uh, taken my cold medication and uh, it's made me feel a little bit brighter for the moment hopefully feeling good for the whole of this episode because it's big it is the start of season three and uh, well look guys we are looking fresh i would say but this jumper i swear these jumpers make us look like we've put on a few pounds i don't know i don't know but uh, just from that angle from like this looks like we've put on a few pounds but we do look good. We look fresh. Got glasses on as well. I thought, yeah, we'd go uh, with the, the glasses look. And uh, we look cool. We look good. Ready for season three. Back. Back. <laughs> in the Champions League. So I thought we better look the part. And I say we do. Yeah. All right. So let's get into the exciting stuff. Talking about what we're going to do with the players that we have when it comes to uh, the summer transfer market. And uh, calls for Odana to be sold. And uh, I'm going to let you guys down for who wants to see Odana leave the club now. I'm going to say no. He's going to be here for season three. And uh, most likely here for season four. And you're thinking, what? What are you on about? Well, hey, 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 hey. I'll explain. <laughs> Give me time and I'll, I'll explain. Uh, but for the moment, yeah, Onana's here for season three and uh, most likely season four. So just hold your horses on that. Give me a chance and I'll explain. But uh, Bayinda, you can see his contract ends this season. He'll be free to go uh, in the summer. And uh, yes, it will be his final season. So I thought, well, I'll let his contract run down. And he can go on a, on a free or talk to clubs in January. And uh, agree a deal, uh, you know, a pre-contract. And go to a club for free in the summer. And uh, well, we've got Fitek though. He's on the loan list. He's come back. Going to give him a chance. <laughs> Going to give him a chance. But I'm not sure if there is a future with Fitek and us on this journey. But I'll give him another loan spell. See how he goes. And uh, we'll see. Okay, this one's interesting. Because don't forget uh, Matthias Delip picked up an ACL injury before Season 2 finished. And uh, well, he's out for five more months. So he's out for pretty much half of uh, season three and uh, being in the Champions League as well as having the Premier League and the Cabal Cup it's going to leave us somewhat short I mean okay we've got Euro we've got Branthwaite and Martinez I mean we've got this young lad that uh, we found in our youth academy in Sebastian Young but he's nowhere near ready or good enough just yet only 16 he needs a loan and there he is on the loan list but uh, yeah we are just we just got three cent uh, recognisable uh, centre backs available, and uh, we need we need someone to come in as cover for Delet. So, yeah, out you know sort of changed our ways of what we're going to do in this uh, transfer market with uh, Delet being injured. I, I just thought let's be safe, let's get someone in as cover, and uh, yeah, I think I think it'll be good. All right, so we still got this issue with the Masuari. He's still um, not happy, and uh, but look, whenever I showed you guys the last offer for Masuari, that he, he's not had any for the last few episodes. There, there's been nothing coming in for Masuari, which is good for us. You know, it's good for us, and I'm happy about that, and it gives us more chance to change his mind. So. Yeah, right back position is sort of up in the air. I mean, Karesma here is on the loan list. I'm going to let him go out on loan for, you know, for season three. Um, and that's why actually signing a, a backup or, you know, a, a centre back to uh, fit in while Delit's out. I can get a centre back that can also play right back in case Masrari does go. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting this with uh, Masrari. And uh, we, we're going to be looking for another CDM. We did loan in Ugu Chukru for season two. He was superb. But we're, we're going to look elsewhere. We're going to look elsewhere and uh, find an exciting uh, CDM for this position. Of course, we've we got Collier, 
who is 22. I don't, again, another sort of player that I don't really see having a future with us, but I just like to keep around. He's a sort of player like, you know, might be pretty fun to use. You never know. You never know. But I think the future might be with this lad. Jim Keane, the next Roy Keane, and his name is Keane, only 18. And uh, I've put him on the transfer list. What? I don't even... What? What am I doing? Get him off. <laughs> He's meant to be on the loan list. He's meant to be on the loan list. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's that's shocking. I'm sorry, Keane. You're not on the transfer list. You're on the loan list. You're you're part of the future. All right. Now, this one's uh, this one's interesting because I feel like we always... We, we do need three strikers. And... Uh, we were so, somewhat short in season two. <laughs> we had to use Hugo. And uh, I tell you what, Hugo was uh, was fun to use. Absolutely fun to use. And uh, he was only 66 uh, overall as well. So, and uh, here we've got Ethan Wheatley, who's uh, a lot better. <laughs> He's a lot better and uh, could be ready to uh, play a part in season three, like in the Cabal Cup, maybe one or two games in the league. Who knows? Who knows? Might make an appearance in the Champions League if we need him. But I, I just want to take care and time with Wheatley. I think another loan for season three, possibly for season four. So maybe two more loan spells for Wheatley. I want to try and push him as far as possible. I think he can get close to uh, the high 70s, maybe pushing for at least, at least maybe 80 might be ambitious, but I think he can do it. But I think he needs loan spells still to be able to do it. So, we might be in the market for uh, another striker, but a much experienced striker that could be with us for at least a season or two. Okay, so now to our ginormous shortlist of players that we have. And uh, starting with the goalkeepers. And the top two here... Kova, who you may recognise, used to be at United uh, a season or two ago, is now at uh, Leverkusen and doing pretty well for himself. And uh, below him is former Man City goalkeeper James Trafford, but now plays for Burnley in real life. But here, I don't know where he's gone, but I thought a good opportunity to bring him back to uh, the Premier League. And uh, I would love to have, I would love to have a homegrown goalkeeper. In our team. So these two, Kova and Trafford, I'm looking at as replacing Bainder to be number two in our squad, to be the number two goalkeeper for the moment to Onana and the uh, future Onana replacement. So, all right, so just going to slowly scroll down the list of uh, goalkeepers and look, they're, they're all very good. They're all very good. I mean, Unai Simon, excellent, but he's 29, but I don't see him as a, a future proof you know I'm, I'm looking for future proof and uh, Simon isn't he's 29 yes he's high in you know in rating but I'm looking for someone a little bit younger and uh, you could say this guy been been suggested a few times Diogo Costa now at by Leverkusen here so he's just moved from Porto to Leverkusen here and um, you could say he'll be perfect but he's not someone I would like to sign and then send out on loan. No, he's already made. He's a, a ready-made goalkeeper to fit in straight away. And uh, this goalkeeper that I'm looking at, it's not Costa. It's not Costa. It is not Simon. And uh, I mean, this guy looks good from uh, Italy. Kaneseki plays for Atalanta. Really does look good. And uh, well, it's this guy. He has been suggested, and uh, I don't think he plays for PSG in real life. I think PSG signed him here. I don't know where he actually comes from, Restes, but my days. He's only 21, and this is the goalkeeper. I want to sign now and send out on loan for at least a season or two, and uh, he should be an absolute diamond. I really do. So, this is Onana's future replacement. All right, man. Oh, this cold absolutely sucks. It does. I sound awful, man. I sound awful. And uh, this... Oh, it's Enrique. Look at us, man. We look the part. We do. We look so smart. We look the part. And uh, Enrique looking smart himself. Yeah, this is good. And uh, 38 mil. I think if we didn't go for him now, as, as the seasons go by, 
he'll be more and more expensive. I do think that. But, uh, oh, this excites me. And an interesting deal to sign him now and then send him out on loan. I'd be interest, interested to see where he would go out on loan as well. But let's do this deal. And um, I don't know how much they want, how much they were after. I'm going to go, I guess they want quite a bit. So I'm going to go 45 as a starting offer here, 45 mil. I think that's a fair offer from the get-go. Come on, come on, Enrique. And uh, no, you're kidding me, man. <laughs> you're kidding me, man. No. Okay, uh, I guess we got to wait a bit. I don't know how long. A week? Enrique. I don't believe it, man. I don't believe it. But look, we're back in for another goalkeeper. This is Bainder's uh, replacement. And, uh, well, of course, again, Bainder leaving us at the end of our season three. And uh, this number two goalkeeper will sign him now, hopefully. And then let him go out on loan instantly. And uh, you can see it is Trafford. I just, I mean, Kovar, I mean, I love Kovar, but I want a homegrown goalkeeper. And uh, I would love it to be uh, Trafford and uh, offer transfer fee so let's uh like this time i mean i thought 45 was a good start i guess not i've got to pay attention to what they want before i go into a negotiations and uh, i didn't look again here for trafford either no idea what they want so i'm gonna go 20. they probably don't even want that much but i'm gonna go 20 on my days don't let us have a nightmare before even season three has got started. It's not got started yet. Already having a nightmare. And uh, they want Mason Mount in return. No. Mm, no. Offer transfer fee again. I'll offer a bit. Oh, stop doing that. Stop. Stop. I'll offer a bit more. I'll do 21 and a half. I don't think he's worth that much more than that. Good goalkeeper. He's young. And uh, come on. There we go. Reasonable. You know, it's more than reasonable. All right, let's go. Trafford. How about this, guys? James Trafford coming to Old Trafford. Right? Guys, right? Yeah? Good, right? Yeah. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. James Trafford coming to Old Trafford. I love it. I love it. Uh, sporadic. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Three years. Perfect. Yes. Release clause. No release clause. Awesome stuff. Traffic. This is simple. Are you going to decide how much you want in your wages? No, you're not. No, you're not. But he's only on 11k. That's criminal. Even I would say that. And uh, look how much money we've got. We can offer him as much as we want. I'm going to go 35 I'm going to go 35. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go, going to go 45. All my days. And then 150. 150. Come on. Come on, James. Come on. Come back to England. I know it's not the blue side of Manchester. Come to the red side. There we go. Yes, he is. All right, there he is, Trafford, 21 and a half. What the board, what are they going to think of this, the board? Well, they say good price, okay. Okay. What do they think we could have got him for? 17.5, maybe. Maybe. But uh, I'll take this. All right, guys, so we offered 45 last time. So, so I'll go into 50. Let's do, I'm going to do the low 50s. 52 and a half. Come on. So we're sort of in between, you know, where they want us to be. They want Eze in return. You're not having Eze. You're not. So no, no. Counter. Remove. So we'll offer a little bit more. We'll offer a little bit more uh, in the 50 region again. Um, so we did... Let's do 53 and a half. Just a little bit. 
Come on, Enrique. He's very stubborn. He's very difficult to talk to. Come on. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. This is uh, very exciting. Finally, Rusters. Hello. <laughs> you are our future Onana replacement. And, uh, guys, I'm excited about this. But even more excited to see where he'll go out on loan. And uh, only wants rotation here as well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever you want. That's perfect. Except five years. Yes. You're here for good, no release clause, of course. And that uh, possibly our biggest deal of this window, guys, in terms of how much we you know on you know spending on one player. But wages. Um, I'm gonna give him you know pr a pretty hefty fee from the get-go. I'm just gonna go one, because that's a hundred K for five years, and he's gonna get better, plus he'll be out on loan. So we're going to do 100k with a you know a decent chunk because we can. Oh my days! Please accept this, please, please. It's a big, it's a big bump up, big increase to what you're getting already, Restez. and that's reasonable. It's more than that. It's more than reasonable. Welcome, future replacement for Onana, Restez. Uh, okay, so rest this already, already with the uh, number one jersey. <laughs> already with the number one. And, uh, well, good price again. And uh, what did the ball think? They probably think something stupid. Like, oh, you could have gotten him for a lot less, which is what they say. Come on. Tell me. Well, 44.9. No, they said they, they walked out on 45. What are you talking? They don't know. Don't listen to the ball. They don't know. All right, so busy day, busy day already in the transfer market. But let's come to the youth academy and check what the scouts have for us. Well, at least Lazardis does. I might change uh, this one, uh, go elsewhere. Possibly might just do one more in Korea and in England with Gardner. We do one more, but uh, we're, we're keeping on going here in Denmark. I still think we can find better. And oh, we've got a good list of uh, players here. So let's see what we got. And uh, all my days, Nygaard, that potential is uh, very good. It is. Uh, what is he? Oh, he's 1.8. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty sound. And uh, oh, Paulson again. Got one here with uh, Paulson. What's he? He's 1.5. Okay. Have a look at him, and uh, God, oh my days, Johnson. Johnson, oh well, I mean, he looks, yeah, but oh my days, Pedersen, look at that. This guy, I mean, 1.3. I mean, look, but we'll, we'll have a look. And was it Johnson? We just looked at Johnson, yes, yes, we did. Okay, <laughs> there's a few players there, all right, so. My goodness, we have found. Uh, oh, look at Jacob Paulson, looks awesome. He's six foot six as well. He's a giant, 65 rated already, only 17 years old. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at him. he's a beast, far reach as well. Uh, this guy could be the next Peter Schmeichel, could easily be the next Peter Schmeichel. Got J Jacob Nygaard as well. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this lad. I am. Uh, yeah, go. And Pedersen. Yes, he is only 16. He's a little bit younger. And he's got footwork, cr uh, cross claimer, and also far reach. Um, I'm going to say no. He, oh, well, actually, no. I'm going to keep hold. I'm going to keep these three for now. Oh, I think I've made my mind up. Okay, I'm thinking, well, we've been to Chelsea before for Ugo Chuck crew. I don't, I don't think it'll be that exciting to go to Chelsea again and loan another player from them. And uh, also, I don't think it's fair. If I'm not letting rival clubs have one of my players, it's not fair to take one of theirs. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, I mean, we could do a deal. If Chelsea come back for Masuari, no. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. 
I'm very excited about Eric Garcia. Uh, he could play centre back, right back, or even CDM, and he's a very versatile player. That would be great in our team. And plus, his reactions is great. Aggressive, he's very aggressive. Interceptions are fantastic as well, defensively and just on the ball as well. Technically, just the better option here. And he's only 25. I think I'll go for this lad. All right, and there he is. Eric Garcia comes to us for a season-long loan. Very excited about him. Very excited about him. Versatile player, which is just perfect for us. And uh, can feel the void for the uh, injured, the lit. And uh, can play right back as well as uh, CDM. But uh, very much uh, a centre-back for us uh, this season. More bodies, more numbers are needed. And uh, we are looking for uh, a backup for uh, Ugarte here. So we are looking for a CDM. And uh, also, guys, also, I'm looking for another striker. And I've got one on the shortlist. He's at the bottom. And it is Ankel uh, Correa of Atletico Madrid. I thought he'll be perfect where Wheatley is out on loan. And he'll be out on loan for this season and possibly again for uh, season four. And I thought, well, this guy can come in at 31 I think he'll be good for at least another two seasons and uh, also he's a different profile of uh, striker to what we have now in Hoyland and uh, Zerxe who are more aggressive this guy he's got more low uh, you know he's more low gravity more you know that sort of player <laughs> that sort of player and uh, look I could go for a physical presence uh, again, like we did with Ugu Chakru, who worked out wonders for us. You know, he's you know, tall, get about quickly, and just, you know, just that big physical presence can help us. But I'm thinking, let's go for a CDM that's somewhat a little bit different. And, uh, of course, these guys uh, have been on our shortlist for quite some time. And uh, you know what? I thought... I want something a bit different. And uh, I was looking at this guy. He plays, for, he plays for Brighton in real life. He's here at West Ham. Carlos, uh, is it Balaba or Balaba? I think it's Balaba. But he's 5 foot 10. He's only 22, but 77 rated. He's not going to expect to play a lot of games. So we might be able to get him in on rotation. But look at him. He's a, you know, he's strong. Solid, he's quick, good stamina, and you know, pretty decent on the ball. No play styles, but that's okay. He, he looks exciting. But there's another one in Jao Gomez. We did look at him, and then we took him off the shortlist, but now he's back. Now he's back. I'm like, yeah, I want this. I'm, I'm more interested in this type of player that could play CDM. Maybe not tall or physical, but tenacious, full of energy, could get about correctly. And put themselves about. Yeah. I just want a different you know, sort of player to Agate. You know, I don't want that physical presence this time. Yes, it helped us with Ugu Chakru, but I thought let's let's go some let's go for something different. It won't hurt. Hopefully it won't hurt. And uh, Gomez, let's go with him. And um, I always do that. <laughs> so 24 and a half. Surely they don't want that much. We're going to go 30. We're going to go 30. Come on. If this doesn't work, then I guess we're, we're going to West Ham. Asking for better bar. But I don't think we are. No, we're not. Gomez. Okay. All right. I see that he, he has the F15 uh, jersey. I believe that belongs to uh, Euro. We're going to give it back to him. That's not yours, Gomez, to keep, by the way. Welcome to the club, though. <laughs> Excited. What did the board want? The board say a good prize. Could have got 24.4 for him, they say. I doubt it. I think 30, 30 mil is a very good, uh, uh, well, yeah, good deal. Okay, so we are doing this straight into uh, this one. We have come to Atletico Madrid asking for Correa. 
and uh, here is Simeone and this is possibly our final well yeah final transfer business of the summer when it comes to players coming in and then we'll get the team together we'll get the the lineup sorted the squad sorted I think there's still offers to sort out with uh, players going out and uh, of course nothing's been sorted with uh, Maswari but anyway let's focus on this I think again this is needed and uh, I think yeah Correa will be great for at least two seasons for us and it's not it's not going to cost a lot either I'm going to be cheeky I'm going to go I'm going to do 20 26 and a half 26 and a half so yeah it shouldn't cost too much Correa at 31 shouldn't cost a lot come on Diego yes there we go I'm excited about this play, guys. I am. Yeah, he's uh, he's my sort of player. And uh, I just think for a striker, he's going to offer something completely different to what Zerxe and Hoyden give us. Which is uh, good also. What they, what they bring is also very good. Bad negotiation. They think 19... Maybe, I mean, yeah, maybe, but look, we got the money and then we've completed that objective, as you can see, which is also the key part to that deal. OK, guys, I was hoping it wouldn't come down to this, but Maswari, he hasn't changed his mind. I mean, we did play him. We played, you know, a few. I feel like you know, I gave him, you know, a few chances Um before uh, season two ended he came off the bench quite a few times he started a few games as well he started the fa cup semi-final i believe but uh he, he's not changed his mind he wants to go and uh, i'm not gonna stop a player that's unhappy that's wanting to go and uh, monaco is uh perfect for us in where he goes he's not joining a rival club and uh, look, 35.4 is a great offer, actually. So I don't know why I've come here. Um, I might just um, ask. I guess I'm just here to ask for a little bit more. Let's go 37 and a half. <laughs> just ask for that little bit more, I guess. Because it's a player that I, I don't want to let go. But it's a player that I'm forced to let go. And... Yeah, okay. And uh, well, guys, there he is. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone, man. Sad times. And uh, does it... I, I think it leaves us short. Uh, right back. I know what you're thinking. Why, why loan out Caresma? <laughs> you could uh, just recall him back. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know. It does leave us short. Yeah, we brought in Eric, uh, Eric Garcia, who also could play right back. Could still play right back. We'll see. We'll see. But let's uh, just round up uh, who's gone where. So Trafford has gone to Newcastle on loan a season. Uh, rest there's to Barcelona for two season for a two season loan spell. Uh, Fitek has gone to Rangers. So I've been, you know, pretty. Uh, well, careful on where plays go. So I feel like, yeah, we've been good with the goalkeepers here. Very good. And uh, Amas, excited that he's gone to uh, Feyenoord. Um, very good. And uh, Garcia, we've got him in, you can see, from Barcelona. Uh, Sebastian Young, uh, yeah, Young has gone to, uh, uh, oh, well, that team. <laughs> Should get plenty of, well, hopefully plenty of experience and minutes. This guy looks good. Looks really good. I, I mean, I always knew Gardner will come up with something. And I feel like he's found something really good there. Uh, but here is uh, Karesma. He has gone to Leverkusen. Already gone up to 80 overall. Honestly, I've been patient. I know it's a risk. I know it's a risk because masuari has gone. This is a risk. But I do believe we'll be okay. I really do. And... Uh, yeah, it's a it's a risk I'm willing to take. If it backfires, then it's on me. Of course it is. Uh, Collier, 
as you know, he's gone to uh, Royal Antwerp there for a season. Uh, Keane has gone to Middlesbrough. That's excellent. That's an excellent place to go for uh, Keane. And uh, it was Middlesbrough, wasn't it? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't been. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't gone yet. Well, wait. No, he's gone somewhere. He's on loan. I think that's Coventry. But it still says approached by Borough. But okay, no, 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 no. Okay, he's gone to Coventry. <laughs> I just realised that's Coventry he's wearing. Uh, but Dan Gore has gone to Borough. This I do know. He's wearing the kit. Uh, Kai, he's gone on loan as well. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, Jackson and Wheatley. Jackson to Ajax. That's fantastic. What a place to go. And uh, this is perfect for Wheatley down in the championship with Fulham. He will be a beast. All right, so I'm going to fit in at least just it. Well, yeah, just this game. <laughs> no idea how long this episode's going to be. It's going to be interesting to when uh, when I ep uh, edit the uh, video. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite tough doing it because of how I'm feeling. This bloody cold. I sound so bunged up. It's been pretty tough. But hopefully, hopefully you guys like what we've done. Maybe not all very popular options but you know it's it's i've done it with uh the future in mind you know it's, i'm trying to build around the young lads you know so they have a chance to uh, show what they're all about in the future they can show us what they're all about so this is what we're doing we're just taking our time taking care and uh yeah yeah it's just amazing season three and uh, nothing crazy has changed. I just feel like in attack, we're good. You know, it's a young attack with Ahmad and Hoyden and Ganacho, who's just being an absolute beast. Uh, Bruno being probably the most experienced player in the whole team. Still full of quality. But you've got the young legs in Agate and Mainu around him, who are just also getting better. And then you've got, you know, a young fullback in Kirkes, Delo going going strong Branthwaite will keep on improving and they you know another experienced lad in Martinez and uh, Onana whose time will come to an end uh, I will say again at the end of uh, season four so you know so you know season four at the end of season four uh, that's when he shall go and that is where Restes shall return but this is the bench this is the bench uh, Korea won't be on the bench for this one. We're just going to ease him in. Ease him in. But there is new boys on there in Garcia and uh, Gomez. So we might see him. And uh, Euro is back as well. So it's exciting, guys. I think this is going to be an exciting season. But let's kick it off to a good start. All right, here we go. So, guys, I'm interested to see what you, what you lot think about these uh, signings. And I see a lot of suggestions about, you know, signing players that are like 86, 87. Well, just basically players who are the best in their position. And that's not what we're, again, that's not what we're about. I like to sign players that aren't the best. But, you know, can prove people wrong. They can show like, yeah, I, I deserve to be here. And hopefully they do that. Players like Gomez, especially. Chao Gomez from Wolves. You know, I feel I feel like he can be a great player for us. But let's go. Let's go. Well, we'll take this one. Oh, there's a player free on the edge of the box. It's Ahmad. And there was a lovely little ball. Oh, he scores as well, Hoyland. <laughs> oh, my days. I can't believe he scored from there. And, uh, well, allowed time to shoot. Well, let's look at this. What's the keeper done here? At the, I mean, this is terrible. If this is... If that... if No, look. If that's Onana... If that's if that's Onana... I'm going crazy. Rams, Ramsdale's had a stinker. But you know what? We don't care. We're glad that he's had a stinker there. Rasmus off the mark in game one. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Southampton... Starting with energy this half. And uh, almost a good ball. That was dangerous. And uh, here's Manu. 
Agate, come on. Oh, that's a bit of a that's a weak pass, but we have it still. Delo. That wasn't meant for you, uh, Rasmus. Get out the way. Yeah, take him out. <laughs> and I saw a run there. Rasmus. Oh, dear. That's terrible. Oh, no. He's got it still. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Here they come. Oh, it's a good ball. They're in. I don't believe it, man. We have been shocking this half. And it's Onuatu, the ginormous striker. I mean, Southampton have been the far better team the second half. We've been nowhere. Nowhere. D absolutely disgusting second half. Oh, it's a great tackle. That's it. That was good. Oh, almost a good ball. Hello, Agate. <laughs> oh, mate, you get spun as well. Oh, I'm so frustrated with this performance. That's it. Come on. So lackluster. Dirt out wide. Get on side. Who cares? Outside the box. Oh, what a block. What a header. Pass there. In there. Who wants it? Your mass. Don't blow your whistle yet. No. Your mass on side. Into the box. Don't blow your whistle yet. No! Absolutely terrible. Absolutely shocking. What was that? What was that, lads? That second half was woeful. Like, where's there was no energy. No energy whatsoever. If this is if this is the sign of what's to come in season three, oh my days, we are in for some. I mean, a much tougher test than this away to Southampton. And uh, I think it's time to uh, end the episode because I'm starting to uh, feel not so good. <laughs> Getting a little bit worse as uh, the episodes got on. And uh, that performance to Southampton did not help. Yeah, again, we felt, we felt so good and, and in control in the first half. But the second half just couldn't get them going. We actually created nothing. That was the scary bit. We just created sod all. Very uh, concerning. But anyway, it's a long way to go. It's just one game. It's the first game. And uh, we must remain calm. It's a long way to go. <laughs> a long, long way to go. But anyway, guys, I I've, I've hope you... Uh, well, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, the signings that we've brought in. Uh, the players that we let go, still sad about Maswari, but you know, you can't keep a player in your in your squad that's unhappy and wants to go. But uh, as I said, I think we should be okay. Once the lit's back from his injury, we shall be fine. We shall be fine and manage this first half of uh, the season without the lit. Uh, yes, I do believe. I do believe. But uh, anyway, guys, you know, you do know, as always. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you for the next one. Take it easy.